I just had a one of my social workers show up. Excuse me, I'm really, really tired. But I don't know what's going on with Jason, per se. I don't know if he's going to be released today. Uh, the social worker came over. And was talking about Jason being in treatment for a month to two weeks. Jason's apparently like um is uh, refusing treatment. Because they want him to go down to this facility in Philadelphia. And. And. Um, the social workers are afraid for me. So. They're trying to get me to go into respite care. The only problem with that is is my cats. I don't want to leave the babies alone. If I knew they were going to be taken care of, I'd be fine going to respite care. But I'm... <sighs> I don't, I don't know what to do. So it's like... I'm scared. So it's like they're scared. They're like, you can fall. Like, who's going to take care of you, Shannon? You got to think about this. And it's. Well, who's going to take care of my cats? So, me and Jason is in a pickle right now. Jason needs treatment. I need proper care. And my cats need to be cared for. So, apparently the hospital is figuring out with Jason what they should do because they know that he's my caretaker and the social workers are trying to figure out what to do because they know I need to be cared for but I want my cats to be okay With your bullshit. Fuck off, whore. Everyone thinks you're weird. You fuck off, toe beans. You don't know what you're talking about.
So it's like I I I wish I had someone to take care of the cats so Jason can get the hair care he needs and I can get the care I need. You're disgusting, Jack Lamar. Get some help. No one's faking his fucking disability, you stupid dumb shits. You guys are idiots. I'm not making excuses. I'm trying to tell you the truth. No, people are being assholes to me and not listening and saying I'm lying. That's not opinions. I'm trying to tell you what's going on and instead of actually listening you're just being fucking douchebags like do you care what's going on or do you just want to be fucking dumb shit childish assholes I'm not asking for opinions or thoughts. I'm saying what's going on. And I'm worried about my cats. And I'm worried about Jason. And I'm worried about myself. No one is lying about their disabilities. Okay? I'm telling you, I just talked to a social worker. And they're try and I had to refuse care because they want to put me in respite care while Jason's gone, but Jason is refusing care at the hospital. So we're trying to figure what the fuck is gonna happen. But my animals need to be cared for. I just can't leave Gavin and Watermelon. They're my babies. They mean everything to me. So I'm in a really bad position because I don't have anyone. I'm not lying about anything. It's 
Jason's even told you how many fucking times about it. I am not okay physically. And Jason is not okay mentally. I depend on Jason for a lot. Because I have to. Because I have no one to help me. And I need help. But yes, I'm going to worry about my cats. Yes, I'm going to take them into consideration because I love them. They're my babies. They're a great comfort. But that's why I came in. To let you know. And update you what's going on. And I don't care about your condescension. You act like children. And you refuse to listen. And you've refused to act like normal fucking adults. Grow up. People have problems. People struggle. And me and Jason are two people who struggle. And both of us need help. But I refuse to abandon my babies. I'm waiting for my evaluation on the 24th. We're just opening all this stuff up. We're just starting down this process. The government knows I'm disabled. I spent a whole two weeks in a hospital. They see the struggle. They see what I go through in my struggles. You don't. You just hear some jackass on the internet say, no, that's not going on. They're lying and you believe them because you're a moron. They don't even give any fucking proof. I think I know what's going on in my life a little bit more better than some idiot on the internet who you take their word for because you're an idiot yourself.
So how about you listen to what's going on instead of acting like an asshole and saying I'm fucking lying. Because right now I'm scared and I don't know what to do. And Jason's also scared and not knowing what to do. Because he knows I need help and I know he needs help. It's too much to take. I think I'm going to go to sleep. I'm very tired. I just wanted to update you. But if you can't fucking believe my word, why even come on my channel? Idiots.